Hey guys, I'm Chris and this is Killer Arcade Games. Today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of Mortal Kombat 2 Plus. I say a little bit because I've already recorded one of these videos and it did not work out. It ended up being way too long. So, here's the plan. I'm going to show you kind of an overview, show you all the different settings you can change, some of the new features. After that, I will do a live stream within the next week or so of me playing the game. Uh, spend about an hour or so playing MK2 Plus so you guys can see how how it's different. It's really not worth playing all the way through. There's cool stuff in the game, stuff I still don't even know how to unlock, but anyhow, I just want to show you guys the basics. So let's get to it. Let's start off immediately by going into the service menus. So right away you notice there's several things that are different. This is a hacked version of the game made by fans. It's actually an improvement. Normally I don't like when these games get messed with and get changed, but this is an improvement as far as a hack goes. I like this a lot. Whole new section here, MK2 plus settings. Let's go in there. And in there, you'll see there's several different options. Um, you've got gameplay, stage options. Let's just go into the first one. The changes to gameplay modes are classic mode, which is normal speed, turbo mode, which is faster gameplay with modified moves. Um, I've tried turbo mode and I didn't find it to be all that different, but maybe I didn't give it enough of a chance. So I just leave it on classic for now. Extra moves. Now, again, this is enabled, and I've only seen a few extra moves, but I have not figured out how to do these extra moves. But it's kind of cool when, like, uh, Shao Kahn does a different kick, or even, uh, I think, Kentaro has a different kick now. And there's different moves that pop up throughout, so it's kind of nice to leave that enabled. Secret characters. You can enable, I think it's Jade, Smoke, and Noob Cybot, and they're playable, but you have to unlock them. That's the hard part. Uh, the only way to unlock Jade, as far as I know, for example, is to beat Jade on the tower. I've never been able to beat Jade, at least not since a ki I was a little kid, so I don't know. Can't unlock them, but they're there to at least look at. Improved CPU AI, uh, it adds new moves to the CPU's arsenal. It also fixes their most commonly known patterns. Now, Mortal Kombat 2 is hard enough. I was hoping this fixed their annoyances, like where they're constantly countering you and beating you. You know, when this game wants to win, it's going to beat you. Uh, so I tried it. I didn't find it that different. If anything, I think it was harder, so I just turned it back off. Versus cheats is another one. Now, can't figure out how to do any of them, but apparently you can put cheat codes in on the versus screen. Uh, there's nothing like on MK3 where there's, you know, the boxes at the bottom where you can tap the buttons. I don't know how you do those. I'll have to figure that out later. And random fight ladder that just randomizes it, which is fine. I, whatever. Uh, stage options. This is kind of cool. The coin up stage, meaning when you put a coin in, it usually just shows you, I think, the wasteland, the purple looking stage. This thing now shows you random stages, including stages that are not even in Mortal Kombat 2. The pit bottom, which is the MK1 pit bottom with the heads on the spikes. The original Mortal Kombat pit. It has just tons of them. Goro's Lair. Uh, I always leave it on random just because it's kind of cool to see a new one every time. Same thing with the Game Over, scre uh, game over screen. It shows you a different one every time. You can enable Goro's Lair for gameplay while you're in there. It's in the stage rotation, which is cool. Same thing with the pit. And randomized stages. I'm actually going to turn that off. Um, mainly because when I had it on, I ended up seeing the same stage almost twice in a row, and I didn't really like that. It wasn't twice in a row, but it was like uh, Wasteland, Portal, Wasteland. It didn't really randomize it as well. I forgot to show you guys this screen. Extended Fatality Time, which is great. It's turned on. It gives you about double the amount of time. CPU always finishes, meaning you can choose if you want it to always do a fatality, a babality, or a friendship, or you can just have it do all of them and it randomizes it, which is cool. So if you're going to lose, at least you get to see a fatality, babality, or friendship. Selective darkening. This is really nice. It only darkens some of the background, so it makes the colors pop, like the acid pool doesn't uh, darken. It's really pretty cool. I'll show you guys as we play. And hide the health bar during fatalities. I have this off. I don't really mind if the health bar is there. Visuals, character selection. This is kind of cool. You have two options, original and alternate. Alternate, uh, I kind of like it better. It's not perfect, but it's just something different to look at. I'll show you guys that when we get to getting into it. And combo display. The combo display is going to actually show you your combos on the screen, the damage it takes. It doesn't really change any of the gameplay, but you can kind of see what you've done. Um, and also, if you want to see a little bit about who made the game, what build this is, here it is. And... Before we dive into the actual gameplay, let me just say, in order to get these ROMs working, you have to take their ROM files and add them to the original ROM and, like, compile your own ROM, and it's just kind of a pain. 
I wasn't very good at it, but thankfully, uh, Proxidova YouTube uh, subscriber sent me the uh, sent me the ROMs in an email, so I didn't have to do all the hard work. Thank you so much for that. All right, let's dive into it. We'll show you a little bit what's different, just the on the face stuff. First of all, let's do the coin up screen. See, now it's at the portal. You can hear the sounds going back there, which is really cool. I'll, I'll let it go away, and then we can try it again, see if it gives us a different screen, too. And now it's the Mortal Kombat 1 pit, so it's really cool. Oh, another thing is you have these options here now. Classic Combat, which is the game. Two-on-two -two Combat Tag, which is where you get to play... Oh, well, here we go. It picked it for me. And here's the new character select screen. Of course, it doesn't always have that many people on it. But as you can see, there's Jade, Noob Saibot, and Smoke. Now you can't, can't pick them until they're unlocked, unfortunately. But I guess you can just uh, see really quickly. Let's do random select on the rest of these. This works just as you'd expect it. You're going to basically uh, play two on two, and whoever wins, wins. It's, it's not anything super special or anything that different, but, you know, you've got all kinds of options. One thing I'd like to point out, little touches they've added. Uh, where is it? The drips in the background will actually leave ripples in the acid this time. It wasn't like that on the original version. So you kill Baraka. In comes Kung Lao and so on. It's it's pretty self-explanatory. So we've got a new coin up screen, a new coin up screen right here. Um, I'm going to show one more since we're we're going back into it. And the pit bottom also a great coin up screen. Okay, so we already did two on two survivals basically what it sounds like. I'll show you more of that in just a second though. I'm going to go with Katana. Let's see if we can just see a few different things in the background here. The tower is basically the same. I'll do a fatality here. So you can see the selective darkening. It's really a nice feature. I, I, I really like these hacks. There is one for Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and I will do a video on that next. Uh, there is one coming for the original Mortal Kombat, which is cool. Okay, selective darkening. This stuff doesn't darken. It really looks good. It almost makes it look kind of HD. I think that was a great touch. All right, I want to point something else out here. If you'll notice, there's less blood when Katana throws her fan. But if you watch it, the blood fades out this time. And that seems to happen with every move, of course. Like when I jump kick, you'll see it. It just kind of fades away rather than disappears, which is a great touch, I think. Also, something that's going to be different here, more selective darkening you'll get to see, but you'll get to see Khan do something different that he doesn't normally do. Here we go. He stands up for the fatalities, or at least for the finish him part. So I thought that was pretty cool. Khan seems like a good fatality, I guess. And Khan has fatalities. Now, I'm probably not going to show you that in this video, because it's hard to get him to do it, but maybe when I do my live stream you'll, stream, you'll get to see it. And we're about to play on Goro's Lair here. So you could normally play Goro's Lair if you got to fight a secret character like Jade, uh, but you couldn't do it otherwise. Now it's just in the rotation, and you could play it all the time. So that's a really nice feature, I think, too. And they've centered it. The game starts right here on the skeleton guy. Everything looks good. Let me get through this one real quick. We'll, we'll check out the selective darkening here, too. Oh, there isn't any. Maybe because the whole level's dark anyway. This is a good place to take note, too, of the blood fade out. You can see it clearly. It just kind of fades away rather than disappearing. So it almost looks like it's seeping into the rock, which is kind of cool. Let's hope I can knock this person off the pit this time. Um, in the background here, you'll see when the stuff passes by the moon, apparently, just like in Mortal Kombat 1, that's when you need to get a flawless victory to fight one of the hidden characters. And if you beat the hidden character, you unlock the hidden character. All right, here we go. Pretty cool. I mean, I think there's probably more blood than even the first Mortal Kombat, even though it's just the uppercut bloods repeated, but still really cool that they were able to add this in and it works perfectly smooth as if it was in there all along. Uh, one more thing I want to show you guys, uh, well, survival mode. This is hard. I'll just show you really quickly how it works. 
basically you're gonna fight with one life bar and try to kill as many people as possible. And it is not terribly easy, I'll tell you that. So, since I did some bonus stuff, I'll get some life back. It, hopefully it'll show it here. <clears throat> so you're not going to see my life bar, but every time it ticks this down, it takes the life back, so I have almost a full life bar this time. Let's see. Yep, full life bar. So I noticed she's not doing her usual thing where she jumps and tries to kill you, so that's kind of nice. And now watch this, here's a good example. You'll get to see the life bar go back down. Nice, I'm getting a difficulty bonus too, I guess maybe because, I don't know, maybe the farther in I go, I get a higher difficulty each time. Oh, see it's already getting hard though, like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, that's it. Do a fatality, at least. So maybe if I really put a lot of effort into this, I could have gotten farther. I have gotten farther than just two wins, but not far enough to even get my name on the list. Speaking of that, I'm going to show you that really quickly, too. Cool new game over screen, which is nice. I'll show you the leaderboards and show you how they've changed really quick. So here's your classic one, always the same. Um, no big deal there, but it has two extra ones now. <laughs> Is that your best? So it takes track of basically how long it takes you to beat the game. So I did it in 2154 the other day, which isn't great, but decent, I guess. And then here's the survivors page. No survivors. I've made seven attempts. I don't know what it counts as surviving, as if maybe you... Maybe you have to beat the whole game on just one life bar that doesn't always replenish. Maybe that's how you do it, but haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, other than that, things haven't changed too much. It's basically the same attract mode, other than the fact that you're going to get to see different coin-up screens. That's really cool. Uh, the endings are all the same, really. The only thing that's changed there is the credits. The credits are much longer, I would say, because now they have all of the Mortal Kombat Plus developers thrown in there, too. But other than that, everything's the same. Now, Kentaro and Shao Kahn can do a fatality on you, which is cool. And you'll see one of those almost every single time. Um, other than that, that's probably it for this game. Now, there's still more I'd like to show you. I just don't want to have this video go on for 30, 40 minutes. That's what a good live stream will be for. I can just get on, play. I can talk to you guys, answer questions about it. So look out for that in the future. If you're watching this video, you know, a year later or something, I'll leave a link to the live stream in the description so you can just jump right in there and see more gameplay if you'd like. I'll also link to the Mortal Kombat Plus website so you can attempt to follow their instructions to make this work on yours. It just runs on MAME, but you may want to use their version of MAME because it's a lot easier to get it to run. That's really all I have to show you today, guys. Hopefully you found this enjoyable. I like hacks like this. I kind of wish they'd make a hack for Killer Instinct, but that's probably more difficult I would imagine because it's a different style game and maybe the programming's way different but this is still really cool I can't wait to show you guys Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 I like what they've done with the attract mode in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 there's all kinds of new stuff there too so that'll be the next video coming out be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss that video you don't miss the live streams and if you enjoyed this one please give it a thumbs up down below it just helps YouTube help people find me basically so you like this video other people will maybe start seeing it more often, and they'll like the video, and we can keep moving forward. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.